Hi, welcome to my new video on how to configure IP MPLS on Huawei RTN 900. With Huawei RTN 900, data packets can be transmitted using MPLS tunnels. This is achieved by encapsulating data packets in MPLS frames using PWA3. This is pseudo wire edge to edge. Now that to configure this, we need to set up our hair to work as an LSR. For this, we'll configure an LSR ID. And we need to create a layer 3 connectivity between the LSR hennies, create end to head MPLS tunnels, and then create PW tunnels, which will be mapped to the data traffic to be carried. So, for us to configure an example, we would use these following parameters configure the basic LSR parameter, the MPLS tunnel parameter, and our, and our PW tunnel parameter. Okay, so now we um, set up our any um, office A any first as an LSR, which is a label switching router. So that's the first thing we would do. We set up both any's to work as LSRs uh, first. We need to create a layer three interface in order for us to set up um, the LSR IP address. Open up the port MPLS enable layer 3. We need to set um, a higher maximum free length for MPLS because um, it requires a bigger free length than normal uh, Ethernet to native Ethernet traffic. Our office A, we need to our plan or IP address is 192.168.1.2. So slash 30 address, so this is okay. Okay, so we go ahead and set up our LSR ID. Map land as 130.0.0.2. Okay, for the head office any, we do the same thing. Okay, that's set up. Now we set up our lesser ID. Okay, now both our, uh, both our INEs can work as the best switcher routers with this configuration. So, in order to carry traffic, we will set up an MPLS tunnel between Office A and the head office. Our plan of tunnel ID is 1501. Our tunnel name Office A to head office. The head of his any will be our ingress node. Uh, we will need to set any CIR or PIR or QoS. Our um, interface port, the only interface port, the only MPLS port, that's port 1. A 4 up label, setting 0 1. Reversing label, setting 0 2. 
a third next up address, which is the interface IP address of Office A, the MPLS portal Office A. Our sync node, which is LSR ID of Office A. So we OK that. Now we'll enable operational maintenance parameters so that we can be able to check if the tunnel is properly set up. So to do that, query query MSP status, check here, local SP initialized. Initialized means the tunnel is not set up yet, but has been set up on just one side. And it's not uh, it's not communicating with the other side. So now let's set up Office A. Okay, tunnel ID is fifteen zero one. Or tunnel name. Say here Office. So ingress node type, the other hand was ingress, this is egress. For a third in label, the other side was 1301, so the in label will also be 1301. A reverse in label on the other side was 1302, so reverse out label with the 1302. Alright, so reverse next up IP. Next up, up address is a interface IP address of the head office LSR. Source node is a LSR ID of the head office LSR. I'm going to enable operational maintenance. Okay, I'm going to check. What tunnel is properly set up? Okay, good. We have near hand available. It shows the your tunnel is properly set up. It's confirmed from the other side. Correct. So we set up our MPLS tunnel. Now, in order for us to um, carry traffic, in this case, we'll be working with Ethernet traffic. We need to um, map our Ethernet port or Ethernet port service on pseudo wires. In other words, we need to create PWU tunnels to carry traffic on MPLS. So to do that, we'll go to tunnel line service. Create. Okay, give okay, a service link for office A. VLAN 300. I want to carry, create a service to carry VLAN 300 from Office A to Head Office. Alright, so here, service shall be entering from port 2, so VLAN ID is 300, so wire, PWID 001, signal type is static, PW type is Ethernet because we're carrying Ethernet traffic, direction by directional, MPLS, PW incoming on a cutting swap plan. This is 2301, 2302. We can use the resource to check um, the tunnels available. Okay, we have just one tunnel available. That's the one we want to use. So click OK. Okay, so we go to PLS check management. Okay, we need to enable operation maintenance parameter for in order to check if the tunnel is properly set up. Okay. Okay, expectedly not yet set up. So, uh, we can figure the remote end tunnel here. So 
Still angry. She came out for part two. WA is 1001. Static Ethernet type bi directional PLS is correct. So the remote and our hard going PW is 2302. So I can come in here with your 2302. The remote and the incoming PW was uh, 2301. So I'll go in with 2301. You can use that system resource. Only one in PLS tunnel. Click. Okay, so now we go to PW management in order to, to check our uh, tunnel. So enable all uh, OEM parameters with which we can check if our tunnel is uh, properly set up. Yes, so now this shows our tunnel is properly set up. Now we can carry traffic on this tunnel. Let's check the remote hand also to verify that's properly set up. Okay, yes, both tunnels are properly set up. So now we can verify if we can carry traffic on this tunnel.